Hey guys, welcome to a different video. Obviously, I'm not uh, in front of a computer playing GTA. Uh, this is a, some, this is something going to be something different, something special, and uh, the announcement of something really cool that we've been working on, um, and that we're really excited to put out. So, <laughs> but to get started, um, so as you saw in the title, this is going to be kind of a car reveal. Now, classic YouTube fashion. I'm not. This isn't me trying to flex or. Um, or do anything like that, um, especially because uh, this car is financed, <laughs> so it's hardly a flex, and uh, actually only costs people twenty dollars a month more than what I was paying for my other car. So, um, but yeah, so long long story short, um, I've always loved cars, but I've never actually had one that I've been um, like super proud of, or one that's uh, that's like quick and fun and kind of a sports car. <laughs> I've had some pretty sensible cars. Uh, my first car, I've only ever had two cars in my life. My first car was a uh, 2002 Renault Clio. I'll show the picture here. Uh, that was fun. Uh, it got to 0 to 60 eventually. <laughs> uh, it was a car I had in high school when I was in England. It was a great little car. I loved it. Um, cool little hatchback. Second car I had was a, uh, I just had it until recently, was a 2000, 2008 uh, base model Honda Civic. And great, great car, fantastic, reliable, cheap on gas, just like the best perfect starter car you could ask for, um, but pretty slow. So I'm kind of at the point in my life where I was like, I want to do something a little stupid. Uh, you know, life is short, splurge on yourself a little bit. It wasn't really even that much of a splurge. Originally, I did have a Acura TLX that uh, I bought from my dad. Um, but I didn't really like it that much. It wasn't really great with the dog, so I wanted something different. So I had different criteria for kind of what car I wanted. First things first, I wanted it to be fun. I wanted it to be quick. I wanted it to be fast. I wanted it to be um, just a fun car to drive. I also wanted it to daily drive it as well. It had to be something I could use in both winter and summer. It, well, this wasn't going to be just a summer garage queen car. This was going to be like a weekend warrior. This was something I want to use every day. So... Something fun, first criteria. Second criteria was uh, all-wheel drive. So that kind of goes back to the daily driving thing. I wanted to be able to drive it in the winter um, and just be able to get around. And having all-wheel drive here in uh, Calgary is for the winter is definitely a, a plus. Um, it's definitely not necessary, but um, I did drive this car in the winter, and it was amazing. Um, so I had to all have all-wheel drive. Third thing, it had to be practical. Um, had to be, I have a dog, I have a 90 pound Bernese Mountain Dog, so uh, had to be something I could throw Farley in and, and take out, and go in the mountains and, and, do, and just take him everywhere. He's, he goes everywhere with me, so it had to be something where he could fit in. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking either like, like kind of like a hatchback, um, that's what I was kind of looking at was the hatchback market. Fourth thing was it had to be like it's relatively good on parts and service. Um, parts and service are a big thing, um, especially because cars break down and stuff breaks. And so having cheap parts is definitely a bonus. And just service and reliability is another thing. So with those four criteria in mind, there was a few cars that definitely hit some of those boxes. Um, some that hit all those boxes, actually. So the, the cars I was looking at, and I actually looked at a lot of them. I was buying used. I don't buy new. I buy, I buy used. Um, looked at a... Uh, 2017 WRX STI, uh, Golf R, Honda Civic Type R, um, and the Focus RS. Those were the cars that I was I was looking at. So we'll go down the list. So first off, the Subaru. I love the Subarus. I've always loved Subarus. The issue with the Subaru, why I didn't go with it, is yes, it's fast, it's fun. Check that box, but. Uh, the service and reliability of them, um, the service here in Calgary, um, I've had friends that have owned Subarus and the dealers here are just terrible. Mm. They've only had bad things to say. Um, plus kind of <laughs> everyone and their dog here drives a Subaru, especially in the car scene. They're just, a, they're kind of a dime a dozen. Um, and it's not a hatchback. It's all, it comes in a sedan. If they made a hatchback one, that'd be a different story. I know they did, like, they made an old, like, I think it was 2008 they made the hatchback. Love those cars, but I don't, I will never buy used. I will never buy a 10-year-old used Subaru, I'll say that. Those things get driven to shit. So, liked it, but just off the table. Second car I looked at was the uh, Honda Civic Type R. Um, honestly, a fantastic car. Um, 
it's just there's two things wrong with it. One is the looks. I can't get over the looks. And that's just me. Everyone, it's just personal taste. Um, there's so many vents. There's vents on vents. Uh, it was just a little too, a little too, uh, fuck boy for me. <laughs> no offense. It's just, it's not my style to each other. One. I, it's, I think it's a fantastic car. Um, and the other big one is it's not front wheel, or sorry, it's not all wheel drive. It's only front wheel drive. So, um, it wouldn't be the best to take out in the winter. I don't, I don't see many people taking them out in the winter. So that one off the table. So the third one I looked at was the, uh, VW Golf R, uh, fantastic car, just a great hatchback. It checks, I actually checked most of my boxes. Um, the only problem with the Golf R, um, was it just, it wasn't as fun as the last car I looked at. Uh, just didn't have the same raw power, if you will. Um, great interior. The, another issue is it's German, so you got German parts. So right there, there's a strike against that. And finally, the resale value on them isn't that great. Their uh, their amortization and uh, sorry, their depreciation is pretty quick on them right now. Um, they're not really holding their value too well, just because. And I did my research, man. I was for months and months. I was doing my research. And that's simply because they, they just made a ton of them and they sold a ton of them. They're very popular. You see them everywhere here, especially in Calgary. Um, and that's for good fact because they're just, they're fantastic cars. And, uh, but it's just, <sighs> so finally the car that I did choose was the uh, Ford Focus RS. So the Ford Focus RS checked all the boxes. First it was fast, um, super fast, super fun. It has all wheel drive, so it's great in winter. Um, and all wheel drive system on it is fantastic. Um, third, it's a hatchback, super practical. Seats fold down all the way. Great for the dog. Um, you can, it's fast, but you can, you can go to Costco with it. So that's a huge plus. And uh, finally, it's uh, it's rare. You don't see many of them here. Actually, in Canada, um, they actually only sold. I think it was about two thousand of them um, in Canada. So there, you don't see many of them. And as a result, um, and since they've stopped making them the resale on them is still holding super strong um so i actually looked i can get out of the car right now for what i i'm basically have driven the car for free for the last uh six months so and i will continue probably to drive it for free for another year uh, before maybe it starts to go down a little bit but so it's holding its value it's unique it's uh it's uh, all-wheel drive it's fun it's also really good on uh parts and service uh, I've already had to replace a part on it, uh, the fog lamp, uh, fortunately was driving it in the winter and the uh, fog, lamp, fog lamp housing hit a, uh, a little uh, clump of snow on the road and busted, um, but the part was super cheap, got it next day and uh, yeah, so I've been super happy with it. So obviously, and I've seen on Instagram when I posted pictures is, and people go oh look, you, you're trying to be like bugs oh you bought bugs's car oh did bugs send you his car heard them all before <laughs> honestly that was probably the only reason i didn't want to get the car was because i'm like oh shit like he has the car people are gonna start you know but here's the thing i don't give a fuck <laughs> i really don't um just like if bugs had a ferrari am i and i had the opportunity to get one am i not gonna get a ferrari like the fuck is that um Part of the reason we are, we're friends is because we have similar tastes in cars and we and we get along so well. Um, and what was awesome was when I was buying the car, he was super helpful because he he knew what to look out for. He knew kind of the price and what they're worth, and uh, so he was a super good resource. And especially even when I've been modifying it a bit, um, he's been awesome because he's already done a lot of the stuff that I've that I've done and am doing and plan on doing. So it's been cool having him uh, to. Uh, to get uh to get feedback and get uh advice from so so if you're gonna make that joke heard them all before um doesn't really bother me because honestly like laughs in rs pops and bangs <laughs> So with that being said, we are announcing something really cool. Um, I'm super into cars. Uh, my buddy Brian, you may have seen him on my Sea of Thieves streams, he goes by Super Jacked on there. Uh, but he just bought a Nissan 240SX 
It's such a sick little car. Um, it needs a lot of work. We're planning on doing um, an SR20 DET swap on it. It actually came with that engine, so um, we have some work to do with that. Um, and on my car, I've done actually quite a bit of work. Uh, we've done quite a bit of upgrades and things. And we, what's cool is we, we filmed it all. We, we vlogged, I did a vlog style, it was weird. Um, but basically we're gonna, we started, we're starting a new channel. <laughs> we're starting a channel, it's called uh, Cars Without Borders. It's gonna be awesome. Um, so basically you're gonna, we're gonna have different project cars on there. So we have my car, the Focus RS, Brian's 240SX, um, and also Bay Area Bugs. He's gonna be putting out some vlog stuff on his cars there, cause he's got some amazing cars. Um, he's got a Mustang, he's got a, uh, got an Impala. Uh, I think he has an Impala. He's got the uh, Miata. He's also got a uh, Chevelle. And uh, he's got Crown Vegs. He's got, he's got so much. <laughs> so he's got lots of content. But he's going to be putting out videos over there as well, which is really cool. That's whole, kind of a whole name. Cars Without Borders. Um, but yeah, some other plans for the channel. We want to do... We actually, what's funny is I'm filming this, and there's a car meet going on. So I'm going to go say hi to those guys. Uh, we want to go to car meets, check out cars here. I want to feature some of the local guys here and some of their builds because there's some really cool stuff going on, especially in Calgary. There's a really cool uh, car scene in Calgary. Really nice people. So I want to do some like features on those guys' builds. I um, want to do some vlogs and trips with the cars. Brian and I want to go out to the mountains, go rip around up there, vlog it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of potential for some really cool stuff with the channel. Um, might even do just keep our sim racing stuff. I might put my sim racing stuff over there. Um, do some like sim racing gear review, stuff like that. Just kind of all things cars, whether virtual or real, um, could go over there. So that's kind of like the tentative plan. We'll see what happens with it. But uh, if you like, and it would be awesome if you could, if you want to support us, go give us a subscribe over there. Um, there is a video over there right now. Just kind of like a little, little trailer, little teaser trailer. Say that again? Yeah. She's good? Woo! <laughs> Um, and then we're gonna start putting out the content because a lot of it's already ready, ready to go, and uh, it'd be cool. So if you want to follow along with the with the RS build um, or the 240SX build or bugs of stuff, we'd really appreciate a little subscribe over there. And uh, yeah, and then let me know in the comments what you think of this. Is this dumb? Are we in over our heads? Are we just flooding flooding YouTube with another car channel? Let us, know your, let us know your thoughts. Again, I do YouTube for, for fun. This isn't my job. This is just, uh, this is just fun for me. Um, I have a full-time job. So just, it's another creative outlet for me. And uh, so I wanted us to do something besides gaming. So that's kind of the, uh, the plan there. But either way, guys, thank you so much for supporting me, supporting myself and all the guys, all the 5PD guys. Um, it's been a whirlwind of a few years, and I uh, can't thank you enough for the support and just for watching us. It means a lot. But yeah, guys, we'll, uh, we'll see you over there on that channel. And uh, be sure to yeah hit, hit subscribe and uh, check out the videos over there because it's going to be fun.